This next bit of footage shows the failure of a Bomark launch at Cape Canaveral in 1959. It's interesting for a couple of different reasons. First off, who doesn't enjoy a good rocket fire every now and then? Second, it's also got some great coverage of the design of the split launch shelter or the coffin. This was how operational Bomark missiles were stored out at their remote launch sites all over North America. In the event of a launch alert, the coffin would split open and the missile could then be raised to the vertical launch position. Magnesium was used extensively in the construction of the Bomark airframe. That made fighting any fire involving Bomark hardware very, very difficult as magnesium doesn't like to go out. As a matter of fact, water will even accelerate the burning of magnesium. That's also led to some current environmental concerns surrounding the sites where Bomarks were deployed throughout the continent. It's also an interesting time to discuss a broken arrow incident that occurred at a Bomark base near McGuire Air Force Base in New Jersey on June 7, 1960. A broken arrow incident is one in which a nuclear weapon is somehow endangered or lost. On that day, a Bomark missile with a nuclear warhead caught fire in its launch structure. The fire broke out due to a pressurized helium tank that had exploded, which ruptured the fuel tanks. The magnesium structure burned for about 45 minutes with this plutonium warhead fully engulfed in, in flame. The firefighting water flushed weapons-grade plutonium up to 100 feet away from the launch shelter. That site was not deactivated until 1972 and was horribly contaminated. It remains off limits to this day. Radiation testing of that site still continues. And if you are familiar with the very interesting Google Earth computer application, you can actually see that containment area to the east of McGuire Air Force Base. Mm -hmm. 